very uh, difficult to uh, overcome because uh, from a religious interpreting in, uh, interpretation from Islamic interpretation that many uh, uh, parents have many children is very good yeah you can uh, enter the paradise easily if you have many children so it is it is so difficult yeah, to make people realize that that how to struggle for health and uh, reproductive rights here yeah, in uh, women Indonesia this is the big big problem you know the the total of uh, the number of marital apa sih angka kematian ibu melahirkan ya uh, yeah it is very high Indonesia we we have we still has um, 40 to nine yeah uh, so uh, we still struggle to still start to promote women rights yeah as human rights in Indonesia we still uh, str struggle for illiteracy how to how to eliminate illiteracy because we have a problem with with illiteracy so the problem of illiteracy the problem of uh, health and reproductive rights and also the problem of poverty these big issues still yeah still um, dominate. yeah dominate our uh, women in Indonesia and we still struggle for mm. these issues now from my uh, organization uh, because in my organization uh, all religion and all beliefs you know that uh, in Indonesia uh, although the government still um, uh, realize uh, still um, um, apa mengakui? Yeah, uh, still uh, realized a uh, six religion, but indeed we have more than six. Yeah, we have in Indonesia we have a Baha'i, we have a Tao, we have a Jews, and we have a, a, a Sikh, and also uh, more than three hundred indigenous religion in Indonesia. Uh, in ICRP we have links with all these religions and with all this uh, uh, indigenous religion uh, what what should uh, what we we uh, that what we did in in ICRP to overcome these three big issues uh, regarding uh, women issues first of all we uh, we uh, promote women rights as human rights yeah we promote that as uh, human women we have the, uh, the government has fulfilled the women right, women's rights as uh, they are because they are part of uh, our, the, uh, our citizen and also the second uh, the second aspect we did is to uh, promote uh, religious interpreting religious interpretation which is conducive to the principle of human rights ex ex uh, especially yeah, regarding the health and reproductive rights yeah, for women and also we did uh, we advocate the government to eliminate all policies all public uh, uh, laws that uh, discriminatory against women yeah we still struggle hard yeah for uh, women's rights in Indonesia Maybe a sister uh, a sister from Thailand uh, asking your own experience, uh, uh, Professor Musta Mulia, mm -hmm. and your experience of, uh, let's say. Yeah, my, uh, in, in my organization, activity. my experience, yeah, as long as my experience in a struggle with women, I came to the conclusion that women and religion has never, never been best friends. <laughs> so, we have to struggle to promote a new interpretation in religion mm -hmm. to overcome these problems mm -hmm. you know in islamic interpretation is yeah many many interpretation in islamic uh, religion is not conducive with the principle of human rights yeah mm -hmm. the many many so we struggle to 
to, to change and to promote a new interpretations in religion. But it's not, it's not easy yeah, to, to handle and to face the traditional religious leaders, the conservative religious leaders. They always consider that the interpretation is absolute. Now I, would, uh, I struggle to make people realize that there is a difference between religion as a, a revelation from God and religion as uh, an interpretation. It is mankind and it, is, it, can, it can be uh, reviewed. Yeah, so how to, how to differentiate between revelation of God and uh, and human interpretation. Yes. Yeah, we, we struggle and struggle. And it is very, um, uh, I was um, one of the head of uh, the Council of Indonesian Ulama in, uh, in Jakarta from 2000 and 2005. You know, uh, I was the only women, yeah, uh, in the in this council, yeah, you can imagine yeah how to struggle between uh, my colleague, my my male colleague, which yeah almost of them are conservative in interpretation. So it's not easy because in uh, our grassroots, yeah, from uh, uh, religious leaders in our grassroots, almost they are uh, they are promote the conservative and also the traditional uh, interpretation, which is not uh, rational and which is not uh, progressive. And of course, this, um, this interpretation disseminated by religious leader in grassroots is not compatible with the principles of human rights and also which not compatible with the principles of democracy and pluralism. So my so the struggle of people like me is not uh, easy. Yeah. So anytime yeah, uh, I have, uh, I face many condemn and many attack from, uh, from the traditional uh, religious leaders in grassroots. But yeah, it is, it is, it is the consequence of the struggle. Yeah. We still struggle and struggle for this. Yeah. It's not easy. You know, I say that my conclusion is religion and women has never, never been best friends. <laughs> yeah. uh, about education system uh, for children, yeah. Yeah, uh, in my experience in ICRP, the, the big problem in our uh, education system is educational system in Indonesia, we have dualism system in education. We have uh, uh, um, education for uh, non-religion and education for religion. My struggle is how to make uh, this uh, different uh, education uh, should be maintained as one system because we have the same uh, citizen. We have the same uh, yeah indonesia is not islamic state it's not religion state so we do not we do not we do not uh, need a religion system in education but it's still long long yeah it is a struggle why because um, yeah why because uh, in educational system especially in uh, um, religion, re religion, uh, educational system. The the education is um, uh, is arranged in this uh, school in Islamic boarding school, etc., etc. is uh, heavily about ritual, heavily on something relating to legal formal, not concerned to value.